Hi, I'm Nixie and this is Nixie Tube. Welcome to the first video in my All About series. I'm super excited for this series because it's gonna be a little bit more practical, at least for me. You're gonna see me draw. It's gonna have a little bit of theory because I know my previous two videos they were a lot more theory than anything else. It's gonna be the basics, looking at theater as a place and then theater as a performance. And then for the performance part, we're gonna do something a little bit interesting. Theater is a performance, though often the performance of a drama text and entails not only words but space, actors, props, audience and the complex relations among these elements. It is very important to take into account the relationship between drama, theatre and performance and in this diagram we can clearly see how he describes this relationship. Theatre as place usually refers to the four conventional theatre types or theatrical spaces. First off, we have the proscenium arch theatre type. The proscenium arch is the fourth wall. With a proscenium arch theatre type or theatre space, there is a clear divide between the audience and the actors, where the audience then looks on from an outsider's point of view. A lot of proscenium arch theatres do also have an apron that stretches out beyond the proscenium arch, where actors can sometimes perform if they want to involve the audience a little bit more. The end stage theatre type is a lot more intimate as both the actors and the audience are closer together to allow for a more intimate experience as the proscenium arch is not present. The thrust stage extends into the auditorium, allowing the audience to view the action on stage from three sides. This also forces the actors to become more aware of the directions of their performance so as not to exclude any part of the audience. The last conventional theatre type that I will be drawing is the arena or theatre in the round. Now some sources do not view these as the same thing, however I will, as they are based on the same principle. The stage is in the centre of the space, it can be circular, rectangular or square shaped and the audience completely surrounds this space, forcing the actors to become hyper aware to perform to the entire audience that surrounds them. Moving on to some unconventional theatre types. These are spaces that are not necessarily inherently theatrical, but are transformed to be theatre spaces. First, we have the black box theatre type which is essentially an empty room or empty space where the entire area becomes the stage and the audience is then positioned according to what the performance needs. And this entire room can be completely transformed depending on what the performance requires. Next, we have a form of theatre type that is not necessarily bound to a specific space or area, but rather utilizes a moving performance where the actors move from building to building, space to space or room to room depending on the performance and the audience then follows the entire performance as the actors lead them. This forces the actors to become hyper aware of the surroundings as the environment can be unpredictable. It is very important for me to note here that these are not the only theatre types that exist. There are also forms such as site-specific work. It all depends on what the performance needs. I just... I don't care anymore. I just... I don't care anymore. So, I was thinking about this, and then I was thinking about that, and then I thought about this and that, and oh, my thoughts just disappeared. So, I was thinking about this, and then, and then I thought about that, and then I kept thinking about this and that, and 
Then my thoughts disappeared. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next week Saturday. Remember to like, comment and subscribe.